Hello, this is Greg from SharePoint Maven, and in today's video, I would like uh, to explain to you the difference between syncing a document library and syncing uh, a folder and kind of advise you on the best practice. So let me um, explain to you what I'm talking about. So here I am on this HR team site, and I have a document library, and of course, within the document library, I have a bunch of folders. If I want those uh, files and folders uh, to also be available and synchronized, it's a two-way connection, of course, you know, between SharePoint and my computer, my C drive, all I need to do is click the sync button. And I press the sync button and it happened rather quickly, right? Uh, you probably didn't even notice, but uh, let me show you uh, how it looks on my computer. All right, so this is my Windows Explorer. And uh, obviously uh, I see my OneDrive here and under this building icon and the name of the organization, it shows me the document library was just synchronized. And the name in convention is the name of the site, HR team dash, the name of the library called documents. And of course, you can see the same folders, you know, the same folders and subfolders, um, you know, that you saw in SharePoint. Let me show you uh, another way to sync and something that can lead to the confusion. So I'm going to actually navigate to another uh, site. I am here on this board site, and I also have a document library here with a bunch of folders. All right. Now I'm going to go inside one of these folders. So I'm not on the top level. I'm going to go inside one of the folders and I'm going to press the sync button here. And once again, happened rather quickly, uh, but let's see what just happened. Uh, look at this. I now have uh, obviously another kind of folder here. And uh, again, it's the name of the site dash, but in this case, it's the name of the folder, all right? It's not documents, right? Because I sync the folder. And now I just get this folder, all right? Now, uh, let me explain to you um, a few uh, kind of uh, nuances and things to be aware of when you do that. So first of all, um, in my opinion, this is not a good technique. Why? Because you might have many, many folders, right? And as you sync each and every one, like let me uh, let me see if I have anything here. It doesn't really matter, but you know, let's uh, sync this other one. Let's sync this other one. All right. Uh, essentially, if you have um, lots and lots of um, folders in the library, as you sync them, look at this. They're going to be just like that. It's going to be a huge, huge list on the left. Uh, all right. Versus just one really organized document library. Uh, let me explain to you something else that might occur. So now uh, let's say, you know what, I synchronize this folder and then I also synchronize this folder. And now I decided, you know what, I really need the whole library, all right? So I'm back at the root of my document library and I press sync button here. Uh, let's see what happens. Look at this now, look at this. And let me explain to you what happened. And this unfortunately will lead to data loss. All right, very, very important. So I synchronized the entire library. That's cool, right? I mean, I have the, uh, you know, the name of the site dash, um, uh, obviously the name of the library. So that's good. And if you notice right here are the, all the folders that I synchronized individually, you know, before. But it doesn't do anything to those other folders. You see, they're still here. And you might not notice, and many users will probably miss it, um, they are no longer synced, all right? So the folders are here, but the uh, status icons, you see how I have those uh, cloud icons, you know, white cloud icons here, that means it's been synchronized and everything, but here they're gone. So what might occur is that if the users are walking out of Windows Explorer, they, you know, it's still here, right? The users might dump a bunch of files and folders in here and they will never make to SharePoint. They will never make to SharePoint, all right? So uh, unless, you know, uh, unless, again, uh, you uh, specifically put the documents into the right area. So obviously, right, uh, you know, users can, you know, probably delete them, uh, you know, but again, uh, probably majority of users will never do that and will keep uh, dumping stuff into those old folders that they used to have, thinking that, that they're still synchronized, but they are not. They will not be synchronized. And again, this you will be out of sync pretty much. So uh, the best practice, just to kind of summarize, to summarize this, the best practice would be never sync individual folders.
because first of all, yeah, you will be out of sync if you later decide to sync the entire library. Second, it just overwhelm, you know, visually it's not going to look nice because you're going to have this huge list on the left of all those individual folders. You know, make sure to press the sync button at the library level and then it will be nicely organized and essentially um, it will, you know, synchronize the entire library and you will be able to um, yeah, essentially access any folder in there from your Windows Explorer. Right. So that's all I wanted uh, to share with you in this uh, particular uh, episode. Uh, hopefully in this particular video, hopefully you learned uh, something new. Is always happy to see on my blog, SharePointMaven.com, as well as uh, my YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Goodbye.